Hey, welcome back. My name is Mike. I am the Bowtie RN. Thanks for popping into my channel. Um, before I forget, if you'd like my videos, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Any comments you have, any questions you have, go ahead and pop them in the comments section and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. If you want to see something on one of my videos, let me know. If I have the equipment to do it, I'll go ahead and do it. Other than that, um, today's shape is actually going to be featuring a new razor for me. Now, this is the, uh, the Game Changer 84P. I got this one from Razor Rock. Um, actually, someone sent it to me. So I'll be going ahead and... I've been shaving with it for the week, but I wanted to go ahead and give it a challenge today. If you didn't notice, I'm a little scruffy today. So I'm working on two and a half days worth of beard growth. And we're definitely going to be putting the razor through its paces. Um, one thing that's a little bit different about this razor, um, if you look at the bottom plate versus the top plate, the top plate for Almost every other razor I have has all the posts in it versus this one just has the stem in the center. So you actually load the blade on the base plate. So I'll be using the uh, Gillette Platinum. Um, you might see a little black dot on it. I like to use a Sharpie on my blades. So I'll put one dot the first time I use it, then, two, then another dot. All the way up to four dots, I typically end up using my blades four times. But the location of the dot lets me know which side of the blade should be facing up and which one should be facing down, because I go ahead and I change that every time. So the blade will go directly on the post on the plate, the bottom plate, and then the top plate just goes simply right on top of that. Top plate drops straight down, not a big deal. Make sure the posts line up in the holes, and then it simply screws right on. I'm not using a spacer for this one. Um, sometimes I do for some of my razors. I haven't for this one yet, but I might start using it if it looks like there's any type of wear or anything on the underneath. This is a machined stainless steel, um, very nice razor, pretty heavy razor. I didn't actually weigh it, but it is a fairly decent heft to it. If you look at the end caps, I do like this one. The razor blades do not pass go past the end caps, so that's actually a new thing for me. This is the only razor I have that is like that at this time. Now tonight I'm going going to be using the uh, the Moondance Bay Rum. I know I've been doing a lot of Moondance soaps, but I have all of their scents and I like them, so that's what I'm using. Um, I've been talking for a little bit and it's been a little bit since I got out of my shower, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my face wet real quick and then do a pre-shave. So I was just some nice warm water, nothing too major. And then I'll be using the uh, Parasa White. I typically use that as my pre-shave. Um, I don't always use a pre-shave, but today, like I said, going on two and a half days worth of growth, I think it would be a lot better for me to go ahead and use a pre-shave. Um, I'm actually kind of <laughs> veering on the side of a little bit too much of the pre-shave. Just because I don't want to do, don't want irritation, don't want to have razor burn or anything. That's not, does not make for a fun Sunday. All right, I think that looks good. I went ahead and already prepped my, my lather up already. Um, what I typically do is I'll shave some of the soap into my bowl and I'll put my bowl on a warming plate. So it's actually a coffee cup warmer or a candle warmer. And then while I'm in the shower, it heats up the water that I poured on top of it, it heats up the lather, and actually, sorry, heats up the soap and allows me to build a lather pretty quickly. I'm using my Simpsons T2, the Trafalgar T2 synthetic knot. I like the synthetic knots, just it, they work for me and that's also, it was a good price point for me, so that's what I have. Don't have to worry about any animal cruelty or anything problems with that. I've not tried the boar hair, so I don't know how good those are. Um, I did have a badger hair in the very beginning, but it was, it came with the shave set and I went ahead and switched that out for the synthetic knot. All right. So soap's looking good. Nice, rich, thick lather. So look at that looking good. And we'll go ahead and go take that to the face. Got enough lather that I got some down on my arm. Go ahead and put that back in the bowl. Does not look like I'm going to be hurting for 
lather today. Looks like I have plenty on the brush. But it's nice. I like it. Um, the Bay Rum is a nice warm scent. I have been using the mint lately as well as the eucalyptus. And those are kind of nice for the summer. It's it's crazy hot here. Um, not sure if I said it before, but I'm down in Florida, so it gets pretty hot here. I actually lost my AC earlier in the week. That wasn't very much fun. Year old and I already had a capacitor break or blow on me, so I had to come out and replace that. All right, I've wasted enough time lathering. Not wasting time, I just I like to lather a little bit longer than I really need to just because I like the scent or like the smell. I like the feel of it on my face. All right, blades loaded. Like I said, we're using the Game Changer. I do a cold water shave other than my lather. My lather is warm. So I'll go ahead and get that wet real quick. Hold the skin nice and tight. And I know I'm going across the grain. I'm not sure why I started with that. I normally go with the grain on my first pass, but since I did it, might as well continue on the other side. I don't have a ton of razors to compare this to, but if I had to compare it to what I have, I would compare it probably pretty closely to my 316. I do have the Edwin Jagger 316, and they at least feel the same. Not using them, haven't used them against each other, you know, side by side, but they feel pretty similar. thinking about doing a comparison side by side with the Ebon Jagger and then the Razor Rock. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to see that and I'll go ahead and get that done. If not, then maybe I won't, I'm not sure. I know so far I like both razors. They both done really well for me. All right, first pass done. Face a little bit damp. Get my second lather back on there. And go ahead and turn my warming plate off. I don't want it to heat my lather too much. I don't want it to dry it out. First pass, really nice, um, very mild. Um, I can feel a little bit of blade feel, no, a little bit there. Um, nothing too, nothing too major. Not, a, not at all what I would consider aggressive. Uh, maybe a little more blade feel than my 34C, but still not what I consider in the aggressive range. I do have the uh, Parker variant, and dialed up, it can get fairly aggressive for me. That's the closest I have to an aggressive razor right now. I do have the Henson aluminum that's supposed to be aggressive, but I would not consider that aggressive. Very efficient, but not aggressive. All right. Ready for that second pass. I'm gonna go ahead and continue across the grain again. Already, I skipped it with the grain, so might as well just stay across the grain. Sorry, line up on my sideburns.
not near as much feedback this time. Seems like it took quite a bit to frond that first pass. I know the amount of hair and stubble I saw on the sink is quite a bit. All right. I do tend to go the same direction in my neck on my first and second pass. The way my hair grows, it just it's a little too difficult to do a with the grain and against and across the grain. So I've modified it this way. It works for me. Like a lot of guys out there say, you know, you shave how it works for you. shouldn't be a chore, it should just be something that's enjoyable to do. Definitely missed shaving yesterday. It was really weird for me not to shave, but I wanted to see if I could put the razor through its paces and see how it did with a little more beard growth. Feels really nice. Um, definitely socially acceptable. Probably was socially acceptable after the first pass but no question after the second pass, it's definitely in the socially acceptable range. Being a Saturday, I'm sorry, being a Sunday, if I weren't going anywhere, wouldn't be any problem at all. I wouldn't have any problem going out just like this. But I wanna go ahead and finish up that third pass, go for all the cleanup I can, get everything taken down and see how this razor finishes. Definitely got enough soap in this one. Yeah, I really do like this, the Moondance soap. I, when I first started, I was having some challenges with it, getting a, a nice thick enough lather, and the lather was dissipating fairly quick, but I definitely found that that was me. It was not the soap. Since I learned what works for me, it's done a really good job for me. I had one time where I put a little bit too much water in, I just had to add a little bit more soap. I just took it straight off the puck, but other than that, it's done really well for me. I think I've definitely got plenty of lather on there for that third pass, but like I said, I like lathering. It's, it's one of my favorite parts of shaving, so I keep doing it a little bit longer than I really need to all the time. All right, third pass relatively against the crane. Like I said, on my neck, I do kind of modify it on my neck a little bit. The hair kind of grows in this direction. So I try on my last pass to go ahead and go against the grain as best I can. Definitely plenty of residual slickness left with this soap.
Razor has low enough profile, gets right up under the nose really easily. Definitely has not been a problem with this razor. Well, it's got a little bit of a weeper there. I got one down that Adam's apple. I have the worst luck down there. I get that razor rinse. Go in for the final rinse on my face. See how I did first. See if I need to clean up anything. My hands nice and wet. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything. Nice and smooth. No irritation. I get that that little got that little cut on my Adam's apple, but I do that very frequently. It's not a big surprise for me. So quick warm water rinse. Switch it over to cold water. The cold water rinse tends to take a little bit longer to get the final little bit of that slickness off from the soap. All right, check the Allen block. I think that kind of got that little nick there, like I said, a little weeper there, but we'll see how the rest did. Uh, maybe a little zing down towards in here just on the one side but not bad at all uh, for having two and a half days growth and going at it fairly quickly while talking on video i definitely wouldn't blame the razor on that one um did a great job like i said that was a gillette platinum gillette platinum on its first use did really well for me for me it's so far it's a good pairing with the uh, game changer it works well for me get those glasses back on so I can see a little bit. All right, everything looks good. Um, go ahead and, normally I wait a little bit longer, I'll go ahead and rinse off that alum. Pat that dry. And I started using, sometimes I'll use the Parasso, sometimes i use the Nivea, but I really do like the, um, the Harry's Post Shave mist it's really nice um spray it on there nice and cooling nice sensation i really like it for this time of year with as warm it is as it is out there just kind of cooling i think there might be a little bit of eucalyptus in it but nothing major i know i'm not going with the cooling aftershave today i'm actually going to be going with the uh the club and panade's whiskey woods it's one of my favorite scents i've got the little the small bottle of it but I really like it, so I'll probably be getting that again once I do run out. I have a couple others that I, that I like too. Um, actually, I like every single one I have, I like. But I right, do that twice. No sting, it's nice. All right. Like I said, um, comment and subscribe if you, if you like. Um, any questions you have, go ahead and shoot them to me, and I'll see about answering them. Other than that, um, have a great day and great shaves until I see you again.